Hey everyone, this is Veronica. Thanks for joining me for my scent of the day video. I used to do a scent and a makeup of the day video. I've been doing that for months and I've decided to separate those out for a while to see how that goes for all of you. Some of you are just interested in fragrance. Some of you are just interested in makeup. So hopefully this new format will work out for you. I do have a makeup of the day, a get ready with me video that's already posted for today. It was actually filmed a little bit earlier in the week, but it's, I think, uh, a fun little video where I just do eyes, um, cheeks, bronzer, and lips. So it's about 25 minutes long. Go check that out if you're interested in that person that's keeping you company from a YouTube video while you get ready. And if you watch YouTube videos that are get ready with me, you know what I'm talking about. You just like that voice in the background and that company while you are getting ready yourself or running errands in the morning or whatever. But for today's fragrance, it's Friday and we are getting ready to take a family vacation for spring break. We're heading down to one of my favorite places in all of the world. Orlando <laughs> and we're going to Disney and we're going to Universal when I think of Disney and Universal I also think of a fragrance that I acquired maybe a couple of months ago because it is a fragrance that became known because it was advertised in the Norway Pavilion at Epcot Center. If you've been to Epcot, you know it's like a world showcase around that big golf ball looking symbol that is a ride at the front of the park. Around that is the showcase of different countries and they're called pavilions. One of those is Norway and there's a fragrance that's featured as the essence of Norway, the essence of Norway and it is Layla. And I believe that the maker is Gare Ness, is how you say that. Layla. This is a newer bottle. It came in a different, more sort of squat, shorter bottle, something along these lines, earlier in its life. I do like this new sleek bottle, and I think the fact that it's clear signals a little bit of what it's like. This is an ozonic, airy fragrance that actually, if I'm honest, comes across a little bit like Febreze. <laughs> at the top. It comes across a little air freshener-ish, uh, but if you give it a chance to mellow out combined with your chemistry, what you get is a toned down version of this one here, Issey Miyake, Lo de Issey, my Issey Miyake, which is a beautiful uh, summertime fragrance to me. I can wear this any time of year, but I associate it most closely with the deep part of the summer. A really beautiful aquatic, ozonic, but very powerhouse, uh, projecting out into the room, taking over the space kind of fragrance. This is the shy sister, if you will, of Lo de Ise. So it's the exact same vibe. You get the sort of same DNA kind of thing going on. You get that same flavor, the same vibe, except toned down greatly. We are flying today, and so I would like something that's pleasant to most noses, but is not going to fill up the entire airplane cabin and have people hating that they're sitting next to me. So very quickly, this uh, fragrance is simple in composition, or simple-ish, <laughs> in that it only has floral notes, wildflowers, and watermelon, which I think is lovely which also makes me think of a fragrance that is no longer made and I have been trying to get my hands on a reasonable bottle of it, reasonable in price. And that is the fragrance New West. I believe it was made by Aramis, if I'm not mistaken. And so you can get the male version of that, but the female version um, is discontinued. I don't know if the male version is discontinued, but I just know those bottles are more readily available. The female version of that was famous for being this ozonic, aquatic, watermelon, fresh fragrance. And I have tried and tried and tried to find that bottle. I've looked on eBay. The prices on there are just, as you can imagine, out of control because the demand is so high, but the supply is so little. And that's just how things work. When there are fewer of something, they the price shoots up. It's just basic economics, guys. I'm not mad about that, but I do wish I could get my hands on a bottle. I tried to do one of those companies that does imitation perfumes, where, and this was one that customized, so I sent in a request for New, New West. 
and they sent me a bottle and it just there was something missing in it it just didn't have the body that I was expecting so I ended up giving that that bottle away wow that was a long bird walk I think it's called right uh, <laughs> there back to Layla it is a fresh air freshener ish kind of fragrance but like I said if you give it a minute to mellow out you get this really nice low de Ise kind of thing going on Here's a few of the reviews on Fragrantica, which I love. One woman says, I sniffed this and I imagine fresh, crisp linens. I can get that. I do get that really sunny, fresh, um, nicely laundered and ironed linens in the breeze kind of thing. Light florals with a clean, grassy green touch. It can come off a bit like room deodorizer, like Glade or Febreze. And she's right. However, a higher end, more refined room spray, I guess that makes it better. I like it for cloudy or rainy days because it elevates my mood. Another person says, this scent is a zonic, airy, fresh, clean, light, and yet all-encompassing at once. The longevity is absolutely insane. I put it on in the morning and have been able to catch wafts of it when I wake up the next morning. It's youthful and bright and a great signature scent. Um, I, I like it also very much in the air. So another one of those that if you stick your nose in it, it's fine, but it's much better if it's sort of wafting around you or if people are catching whiffs of it as you walk by. So it's a really simple, easy reach for uh, spring and summer here. I don't know that I would bother to wear this in the winter or fall, although you can wear anything whenever you want, however you want, of course, but one that I think would really shine in warm weather. So that's my fragrance of the day, Layla. I'm hoping to smell clean, fresh, watery, flowery, and slight hints of watermelon wafting through the air as I'm walking through the airport. <laughs> and getting our rental that's what I think of you guys like the hassle of travel is not the fun part right getting your luggage together getting through the darn airport waiting to and um, you know disembark from the plane grabbing your <clears throat> your rental car getting to the hotel all that is a hassle but once you're there and settled in the fun begins and so this coming week I will be um, probably doing just a quick note on my fragrance of the day because I have travel spray so it won't be like this elaborate setup it'll just be a quick note in the morning about the fragrance that I'm wearing because you know I'm still gonna wear something I've gotta smell good while I'm walking around the parks hello and I will have my weekly review up tomorrow which is Saturday but I'm gonna film it today for you guys so Layla the essence of Norway by Garnes really pleasant simple clean fragrance okay hope you all have a fabulous day my friends and if you want to check out that makeup video go on over there it's a i think it's called a coffee chat coffee makeup chat something like that makeup coffee chat <laughs> it's a purplish background you'll see it anyway have a fabulous one take care